What a beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day. Today, uh, I want to say something about my own people. Some call themselves Hebrews, some Hebrew Israelites, some Israelites. And two truthful, truthfully, you've been called by many names. look up and down the coast of Africa north east south and west you will find us there mixed among all the people of Africa Ethiopia to Ghana's Ashanti and Iwe people, Nigeria's Igbo, the Sahara, Morocco, the Tory, to Libya. Egypt, South Africa, <laughs> they have convinced the South African now to give up his name and call himself the Jew. Take him to Israel before the time appointed and castrate the women so they can't have children. There is a push now. See, the last one to stand up was assassinated. <laughs> Those of you among us who know what he did know what I'm talking about. He came and asked the question, why are you calling yourself a Negro? Why are you calling yourself colored, black? He says, the time has come to prepare. And now they, they assassinated him and waited and they created chaos. Everywhere in America and around the world, you see these groups of people standing on street corners, preaching, calling themselves Israel and Israelites and all that. But they were brought up after
to sow confusion and remove the knowledge that was being given. Today I see one stand up and he's seen, being praised by people in Hollywood as their king. A Hollywood star. There in the name of the Father, the Creator. And these people, not knowing the history, are following It has happened before. And another one stood up before the room to warn people, yes, the Roman Empire is going to come to an end and you better prepare for what's coming. He too was assassinated. And what remained of that small band in the land was scattered throughout the planet. Some went south into Africa, the majority of them. Some went east to China and Japan. Some went west as far as Ireland. Some went north and disappeared among the tribes who live to kill each other. The same way, the same tribes today are, they sole purpose on earth is to create war and mayhem. But you were given into their hands. A new nation rose up and something is happening that most people don't see. Instead of being hunted down and killed, you are being removed, erased, absorbed given different names. Everywhere now you hear people say uh, nothing to do with uh, who you really are. I'm multicultural. I have 15 different heritages. But the funny thing is, Israel always had that many different heritages as we were scattered throughout Africa before. But we still remain Israel. Up to today, the Asante who still know who they are. There are people in Nigeria, Igbo still know who they are, Europe still know who they are. In South Africa, in Ethiopia, they still know who they are. But the new creation it's coming don't know who they are you're being erased and it's being done for a purpose because the north the king of the north is in a war for survival. And this is not just about land, it's about genetic survival, genetic. When your genes break down, you die. Not only the person, one person, but the whole person, everything. 
the land, the country, the people, the tribe, the culture. And Africans didn't have one hand, didn't lift a hand to do anything about that. That just happened. Why? How? Now, once before, we used to be hunted and all. Now, you listen to some of them says, hey, I don't know how many of you do, but I do. I've been taught. It comes to me. I mean, <laughs> people send me these days that, hey, look, here's this person saying, I know our genes are broken down. I have to find a black man. I have to find a black woman so that my genes survive. You listening to what I'm telling you? And that's what's happening. If you look at your advertising, people are saying, oh, you see somebody advertising today with a black man, a white woman, a white woman, a black man, and a black woman, and a white man on TV. Wow. You don't understand what's happening. Your mind, advertisement, is changing you. Acceptable. Not becoming a multicultural world in reality. Because this was done in Europe before. All the kings of Africa, all the kings of Europe one time were royal families were black. Now they're all European looking. Why? You were absorbed. And it was a plan, a deliberate plan set forth to do that. They brought the plan back, dusted it off, and brought it back. This is about genetic survival. You see, the African is rushing to Europe, not understanding this. Pause to let that sink in. I've been there. I see Africans. They leave wives here and go to Africa, go to Europe, and get married. Uh, the European woman. Some of them they even bring them back to Africa. And the African wife. left behind her and her children like I said this is to you my people those you see on the street corners preaching beware of them they might be speaking words from the book Most of them don't even know what they're doing. They just come into that knowledge and they want to share it, but without a foundation. And without a foundation, I mean, what do you have? Look carefully around you. Listen to what I'm saying. Don't just listen to what I'm saying. I'm just gonna listen to what I'm saying and look. But don't just listen to what I'm saying. Look. Watch everything that you see going on and tell me if I'm incorrect. For the last two generations, more of our children, more and more of our children are coming into the workplace taking home 
Caucasian women. Caucasians are coming into black universities or want, what, when I say black universities, I mean universities that once upon a time were 99.99% .99 black. And these women are taking the best of the black minds from that university, marrying them, having children with them. Why do you think they're doing that? You don't hear the conversations in their living rooms. They know that their genetics have fallen apart. And this is how they're saving. The other way is by the foundation that's set up by Warren Buffett and Bill Gates and the others. They pay for the, the Ethiopians to go back to Israel to get castrated, the women. They're doing it in South Africa, Zimbabwe, Uganda. All across Africa. Congo especially. <laughs> so bad there. But you have to read have to read, look at the world, watch what's going on. As I said, you remember the story of our exit from Egypt as it's told. We didn't obey what Guardian told us. He gave us the law that was given to him. He told us to obey it. When we disobeyed, the Creator says, Look, stand aside and I will kill them all off and create another nation for myself. He said, no, 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 please, what will you do after you do this? Da, 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 da. He begged and begged and begged, and it didn't happen that day. But guess what happened for the next 40 years? They all still died. They all still died. The Guardian, that same day, killed off all... <laughs> the elders, except for how many? But the rest of the generation of their children also died before what, reaching what was called the promised land. I hope you take what I'm saying, look at it carefully, and see where this thing is going. what I'm saying and go research it, look at it. He says that our heritage is being taken away in this manner. Let me see if it's correct. He says we are being changed and uh, we are not calling ourselves Israelites anymore or Israel or Judah or Naphtali. We are saying we are multicultural. Wow, how beautiful can that be? Look at that. <laughs> anyway, he's saying we are multicultural.
Is that correct? Let me check this out. I mean, some of this information is on the internet. Go on YouTube and search for Caucasian women blatantly saying, you know, this is what I have to do to save my genetic, the genetics of our people. But anyway, like I always say, in the garden, it's beautiful like this. <laughs> but living among all this beauty, is the one that you call the devil. Not only our people, but the other people. Know them by their actions, not by the smile on their face. They come to Africa and say, oh, these Africans are so smart, so nice, you know, they're always smiling with you. Go back to Europe and says, that, that jungle down there, we got to go down there, take over that jungle, get rid of all those Africans and make it into a garden. But while in Africa, they're smiling with you and saying all kinds of nice things. Anyway, if I'm wrong, like I said, I'll apologize and I'll stop making videos. Have a great day wherever you are. Peace.